The president, Dr. Goodluck Jonathan, has vowed to ensure that all Nigerian children have equal access to conventional education, no matter where they live in the country. This remark came in Sokoto today after he opened the first phase of a federal government model school for Almajaris, or homeless beggars, in the northern part of the country. President Jonathan described the commissioning as truly historic, saying that the nation is marking yet another milestone in our educational development process. The Model al Majari Boarding School is the first modern boarding school entirely dedicated to the al Majari. In the president's own words, quote, Our administration believes that the time has come for the nation to build on the moral foundations of the traditional school system by providing the Almajari with conventional knowledge and skills that will enable them fully realize their creative and productive potentials. End of quote. The president affirms that robust affirmative action involving structured intervention by both the federal and state governments would be required accordingly. The federal government would provide funds for the construction and equipment of model schools, including the provision of textbooks and capacity building for teachers. The state shall be fully responsible for managing the schools, as well as the construction of additional schools in the long run, in order to achieve the desired impact. It was an occasion that attracted almost all the royal fathers in the north. They were seated as early as 10 o'clock in the morning. Their presence is indicative of the importance they attach to education, especially this one designed to take children out of the streets. Also present is the former president of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, Alhaji Shewu Shagari, the chairman of the Senate Committee on Education, Senator Uche Chukumerije, the governor of Sanfara State, Alhaji Abdulaziz Yeri, as well as his Kebi state counterpart. The, the, Sultan of Sokoto, Alhaji. the Sultan of Sokoto arrives and was followed by the president, Dr. Goodluck Jonathan, accompanied by the Sokoto state governor. President Jonathan rails out startling statistics which places the northeast part of the country as having the largest number of Almajiris. According to him, and in fulfillment of his presidential campaign promise, equal access to education is a must for every Nigerian child. Knowledge is the pedestal on which a nation's social cohesion and economic development depends. No nation has just greatness. If it is you who are its greatest assets and successful generation have no access to quality education. The fact that the majority of these children do not attend conventional basic educational schools makes the situation quite worrisome. The administration believes that the time has come for the nation to build on the moral foundation of the traditional school system by providing the al with conventional knowledge and skills that will enable them to fully realize their creative and productive potential. The governor of Sokoto State is full of praises to the federal government for the initiative. He goes beyond the Almajiri to enumerate what his administration is doing, even for the destitute. The Sultan of Sokoto calls on the parents of the Almajiris to embrace the new culture in the education of their children, while the Minister of Education says funding is by the federal government. The problem of destitution and which spans the Almajiri terminal, the city government has equally addressed the issue by establishing a department which caters for the welfare of the physically challenged person in the state. A welfare package is also designed through the settlement of which gives 76,500 naira to destitute persons, individuals with one form of disability or the other in the state. We must begin by calling upon parents to appreciate to appreciate the fact that education, both Islamic and conventional, is the greatest gift we could bequeath our project. The federal government will provide the following funding for the construction, furnishing and equipping of the schools, development and printing of textbooks to be used in the schools, development of curricula aligned with the National Basic Education Program, as well as capacity building for teachers. It's not about speeches alone. The president was joined by other special guests for the cotton of the tape to commission the first Almajiri model school in Nigeria. <laughs> Thank you.
President Goodluck Jonathan took time to register some of the first intakes into the model school, after which he took a group photograph with them. An inspection of the hostel indicates that there are full boarding facilities that can cater for at least 250 students to start with. 30 of such schools have been built across the 18 states of northern Nigeria, a project that is said to have cost the federal government over 5 billion naira.